Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be doing the Proxmox uh, cluster introduction. So, I'm going to show you how to connect the two nodes to a cluster and uh, what high availability is and how to do it. So, let's get into it. So, you can see we've uh, got our browser open and I've got the two um, Proxmox nodes. Um, so you're just going to install Proxmox on the via, uh, on the machines that you want to um, cluster together. So I've got cluster node 1 here and cluster node 2. You can see that they both have the same specifications as you can see. Um, so let's get into clustering them. So as simple as it is, you just want to go to data center here and then click the cluster button. So we're going to create a cluster. I'm doing this on cluster node 1. So just create cluster and I'm just going to call this Mac Mini Cluster. Right, so leave that at link 1 and click create. And Proxmox will do its thing and say OK, which is great. So we've created a cluster. Now we want to join the cluster. So we'll click join information here and click copy information. Now we're going to head over to this uh, node 2 and then go to cluster but instead of clicking create cluster this time we're going to click join and then we're going to paste and this stuff should get filled out and you want to enter your root password then click join. So it's going to stop the cluster service and add. So you can see already stuff started to happen. You can see it's still showing an X through yet. Now it's a question mark. Um, but soon we should see a green tick. As you can see, it's green. So if you refresh now, it'll say connection not private on here. And same with this one, we're fine now. So we can click on summary and see that we have 16 CPUs and 31 gigs of RAM and over a terabyte of storage, which is great. Now, let's move on to the high availability. So, what's high availability? So it allows you that if one of the cluster node goes off, it will respin up the VM or container and keep everything up and running, which are useful for um, websites. So I'm going to demo that now. So first, you need demo. Uh, you need storage. So I'm going to set up a container for the demo. You might as well do it as well uh, if you don't have a NAS setup. I do, but I want to do it differently for you. So I'm going to create, get a t container template for Ubuntu, and we're going to set up a network attached storage Samba shirt on it. So let's wait for it to download. As you can see, it's ready. So all we need to do is click Create CT, and I'm just going to call this VM Storage. Keep everything at default. Set a root right, password and select the Ubuntu template. Disks, I'm gonna make it 500 gigabytes. Give it two cores, 512 will do, and DHCP. Actually, I'll set an IP. Like so, leave DNS at default, confirm, and just click start after created, and finish. So this will deploy an LXC container, which is a bit like Docker, but it's different. So, as you can see, it's creating the SSH host keys, and that's it. So you can see here it's at the side, and soon it will start itself up. Let's wait for that. So you can see here we are. The username is going to be root, and the password is the password you set when we deployed the container. So I'm just going to clear by doing Control L. And we're just going to do the necessities, so sudo app get update and app get upgrade. So we're going to do that. All the commands are listed below in the description on the blog post that I will be posting on my website. So we're just going to do Y and enter on here. But whilst I um, wait for this to uh, do its thing, I've launched a new help website. So uh, I'll throw some... Um, pictures and maybe even a little video of me demo in it right now. 
So, I'm here to tell you about the help website. So you can see I'm on the HSV uh, website. And all I want to do, if I need help with anything, Hackintosh, whatever related, I want to just click on the help. So you can do it the old fashioned way by contacting me via email, which uh, people used to do before. And I've raised over £295 uh, off people that have I've helped. But there's a new option here called message me via HSV help. So if we click that, it's going to take you to a page that looks like this. So you're going to enter your uh, email, which I've done, and then a username. So if you want it like that, and then a password. So it needs to be a strong password. So do that, and then I've created the account. So I can name, enter my full name, click save. You can set up your uh, notifications, but after you've set your name, you can just click skip. Then it'll send you to our town square. So, all you want to do is now wait um, for me to add you to a group. So, I'll show you. So, when I've added you to the group, you can see at the side it says help test underscore user. So you can see here, if I put hello as a test user, and with my personal account, I can put hello, what's your problem, for example. And it's like a live chat system. So, hope you like it. If you do need help, please consider using it. Otherwise, just contact me via email. Let's get on with the rest of the video. So it's updated. Now we're just going to do reboot. Just because I like to uh, do that when I've applied updates, even though you don't really need to. Just allows uh, to be extra safe. So we're going to log in again. Clear. And then the next command, we're going to actually insult, co sort something called Samba, which is uh, what uh, VMs use. Um, it's a file sharing system for Windows, Linux, Mac OS. Basically, every system supported. Um, it's a great um, piece of software and I use it uh, in my home lab setup. And I think pretty much everyone does now. So we're going to create a folder now because it's all finished. So we're going to do mkdir slash mnt and then I'm just going to call this vm. Like so. And then we're going to nano into the configuration. Again the commands are below. And hold control and then the down arrow to take you all the way to the bottom and then we're going to paste in this again it's in the description and you're going to edit this to VM storage so this is going to be the share name and then the path is going to be MNT VM that we set once you've done that control X Y enter clear the screen and then we're going to do the command add user then proxmox give it a password and again and then just skip through that press y enter done now the we're going to do the sudo smb pass wd dash a and then proxmox then enter a password for this amber user and that's it then we're just going to restart the service with system ctl restart smbd done so if we go over to data center now and go to storage add and then smb slash cifs give it a name vm storage and then the server is going to be the ip address like that the username is going to be Proxmox. The password is going to be the one that we set. Then you should automatically get the share VM storage. That means everything's working. Just tick all the content so you can store whatever you want in there and click add. If it sometimes does this, this is what um, I had trouble doing. All you need to do, chmod 0777 slash mnt vm, that's it. 
and then restart Samper again. Forgot about that step. VM storage. To the name and your password. Select the share and all the um, content that you can put in there and click add. Then you should see it pop up under the two nodes. As you can see, both nodes have it. And if we click on it, go to summary, you can see that 500 gig volume. It's the same here that we set. So let's set up high availability. So to set up high availability, all you want to do is create a container. So I'm just going to call this demo HA. Give it a password again. I'm just going to deploy basic Ubuntu VM. Sorry, container. Give it 8 gigabytes of storage on the shared storage pool. CPU at 2 cores, 512, and DHCP. Okay. DNS is going to be use host settings and start after created. Finish. So, what I'm going to do actually is migrate. I'll show you migration first. So, you can see the demo HA container. Um, and we're just going to install something like nmap on here. So, app get install. You can see that it's not installed by nmap. It just doesn't know what it is. So let's install nmap, which is a network scanning tool. And then nmap, the Proxmox cluster, just as an example. You can see it's worked. So now we're going to click migrate here. And then that that will just say PVE cluster mode 2. Migrate. So it's going to shut down. Migrate. Boom, straight back up again. That's it. Just re redo it. Wait for it to uh, initialize. And it just jumped over. You saw it yourself uh, quite quickly, actually. Uh, you can see it's still doing some final migration stuff, so we're just going to uh, wait for that. As you can see, here we are. Oh, not rot. Root. And then my password. Let's see if nmap's installed. It even lets you view the history of your commands that you did. So that proves that nmap's installed. As you can see. There we go. So that's migration. Now let's set up HA. So, if you go to more under the container when you've got it selected and click manage HA, we, can, uh, we want it started. So we just do this as test. We don't need a group for now. But that's it. We click add. HA is set up. So if I disconnect cluster node 2 from the internet, which I've done, refresh, you can see that one's loading. This one's still online. And as you can see, that X has gone through it. So in a few moments, we should see that this container is going to start up. So, let's wait for that. As you can see, here it is, demo HA. Uh, and it's actually just starting itself up. So that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you did, please give it a like. If you need help, you can visit my new help website. Thanks ever so much for watching. Goodbye.